Hey, Hevra, welcome back to the short board. Parsha Zekeb. I just want to um, give you a little vignette. I think that speaks to something that's churning inside of us. Someone came to the Kutzka Rebbe, of course, and said to him, you know, Rebbe, please daven for me. He says, da, sure, what, what do you want me to daven for? He says, daven for me that I can have Yira Chamaim, that I could have the fear of heaven. And the Kutzker, you know, basically kicks him out of the study and he says, well, what? Daven for yourself that you should have the fear of heaven, that you should have Yira Shamayim? You know, what? like Daven for me? He says, Daven for yourself. And by the way, even Davening won't do it. You can't Daven that I should have the fear. You, you just have to have it. What is Yira Shamayim? It's a, it's a, a fundamental misunderstanding of what it is to fear heaven. Moshe says to the Jewish people in this week's parashvata, what does God want from you? He just, he wants you to fear him. It gives it a, a litany of other things that you need to do or you should do. But it really all comes for this sense of fear. Now, does it mean we're supposed to walk around in dread of God? No, it doesn't mean that. It means we're supposed to believe. It means that we're supposed to, irrespective of what's going on around us, irrespective of whatever curveball, whatever challenge, obstacle that life throws our way, it's easy to fear God. It's not really to fear Him, to see God. Yira, their oath. It's easy to see God when everything is going well. But when things aren't going well and when things are difficult, Yira means you see that Hashem is running the world. You believe that Hashem does what He does and that we don't have all of the answers. At the end of the day, that's Yira. Yira is to see, not, not to live in fear. God doesn't want us to fear Him. There's no question that there are things that he brings our way that cause us to have a sense of dread and awe. But that's not what he wants. What God wants us to do is to see him, to see that he's in our lives, to see that he instilled within us a neshama tahora, a pure soul that is eternal, that fills us or that seeks meaning and fulfillment in our lives. And in that way, we're able to really have Yira. Can't ask someone else to give it to us. Even might be hard to daven for it ourselves. But to actually do it, to live it, to open our eyes and to see the blessings that God has given us in our, in our lives, to see the good around us, to see how good people rally around others in difficult times, and to feel a sense that we believe that Hashem is here, always. Have a great Shabbos.